We're in the beautiful backwoods of Ontario here. We're taking out some cedar because we have a custom job we need to do. Now, usually we wouldn't log this time of year because all the dirt on the trail, you don't want to drag your logs through the dirt. So we had to come up with something to drop the logs, pick them up off the ground, drag them out to our truck, and then uh, you know put them on the mill and run them through the mill without running through rocks all day. So we came up with this here. Um, I've seen logging arches before. Um, some of the designs just sort of winch up the front of the log and drag the back on the ground, but we don't obviously want to do that. So we wanted to be able to pick it up. And I've seen these boat, these boat uh, winches being used before, and I was kind of skeptical about you know how well they worked with the big logs. They actually work pretty well. Uh, these are only cedar; they're not really super heavy. I don't know how this would work with a big oak, but you know we'll probably try that at some point. But right now, for this little job we're doing, you know, 16 foot cedars, maybe 15 inches, 17 inches at the butt if we can find them. It really does a, a great job. Um, one thing I noticed with all the designs I saw online, none of them really utilize the top of it. So we can carry a log on the bottom and then we can stack smaller stuff on top here. And all we do is we just, this holds the log underneath. We just run a ratchet strap over top of them, holds them all in. We don't take too many. And if you pile them up too high and you don't have anything down low, it'll have a tendency to sort of be tippy. But if you have a log on the bottom, it's uh, it really works well. Hey, Cal? Yeah. Yeah. And when you're doing this, you want to balance the log so there's pretty much no tongue weight. So the bike really, you know, it's not, it's still pulling, but it's not pulling and doesn't have all that weight on the, on the rear end. Because that's only a 300cc Honda. But it works pretty slick. I have these little cable gizmos here they go on uh, winch cables i just welded it on so we can adjust this to wherever we need it and we also have that for sticking underneath the logs but it works pretty slick so let's go cut a couple down and we'll load this thing up i didn't uh i didn't know how robust it was going to be but it turned out well all this steel here is from an old uh, boat trailer that was given to us so I just hacked that up and I had extra little odds and ends we used. I just welded this up with a MIG welder. And these tires and axles, I just got a Princess Auto in there on sale a few years ago. I'd been planning on making one of these a long time ago. But, you know, we had skidders and the proper equipment. I really never needed to do any work this time of year. But now I do. So this is what we're doing. So let's drop a cedar. There's one right here on the trail that I need. And uh, then we'll grab it. Works well. form this one is punky in the middle hopefully that doesn't go too high because I kind of needed this diameter log let's see when I get into something like that I just bucket in a 
you know, 16 inch lengths and then that way I pile it on the side and we can use it for kindling later on. <laughs> I need a handle right here. I don't want to pull it into the front of this. It's going to be back end heavy with the weight. So uh, we'll put some logs on top of it. Otherwise it's going to want to poke up and then the back end will hit the ground. That should do it. What do you think? Missed a couple. Should have had that on the other way, but I can stick it further forward, maybe. So there's very little tongue weight, but we do have quite a load on there. Those are tens and twelve inchers. There's a small eight incher, smaller one, and that's a sixteen foot. Uh, I think it's. 16 or 17, 15, 16 inches at the butt. Well, we'll see if we can make it out with this one. This is a good load. In retrospect, I should have put that butt closer in there and then we could have, uh, you know, reversed and then we could have switched those logs on top just to help us load on the truck because you can sort of angle it and back it up to the truck and get on the tailgate. But that's not going to happen right now. So anyway, we'll see what we can do. Up this side and push it in. You gonna do that? Yeah. 
Give her. Just a little bitty cedar. You got this, man. You got this. Oh. What's going on here? Uh, try rolling it this way. Are you still holding it up? Grab right here. And we'll see how I'm doing this. One, two. So that's it. You know, you wouldn't want to use this uh, if you're doing large scale logging. <laughs> it's not the machine to use, but for just this picking and choosing kind of stuff that we did, not a bad thing. That's strong. They come. Yeah. Alright, let's wrap this up. Thank you.